The Congress on Wednesday accused the BJP of deflecting attention from multiple corruption scandals in Karnataka ahead of the next year's election. With focus on communal issues like row over hijab, halal meat and the lately Ganesh Chaturthi celebration on Itka land, in an exclusive interview with NDTV, the party's state unit chief DK Shiv Kumar said, Karnataka has become the corruption capital of the country. In order to cover that, they are coming up with hijab, halal, the Itka issue and all these. Over the last year, the state was witnessed multiple divisive rows starting with the ban on hijab in educational institution. Yesterday, a government order allowing Ganesh Chaturthi celebration at Bangalore's Idka Maidan was bypassed by the Supreme Court. But celebrations were allowed by the High Court on Idka land in Hubali. Mamta Banerjee instructed the Bengal Chief Secretary to investigate the properties and bulldoze them if any illegalities are found. The Chief Minister was addressing a press briefing at the State Secretariat when she was asked about the accusation levelled by opposition parties about wealth acquired by her and her family members. If her family members get a notice of any of the central probe agency, she would fight them legally even though it is a tough thing to do these days. The Chief Minister said, reported news agency PTI. He has said that we have illegally acquired government lands, so I have instructed my Chief Secretary to find out if any lands has been acquired illegally. If you find such land, just bulldoze on it, Banerjee said. A public interest legislation was filed before the Calcutta High Court seeking a central agency probe into the exponential rise in the assets of relatives of Mamta Banerjee in recent years. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has tweeted his condolences at the death of Congress. Congress Chief Sonia Gandhi's mother, Puala Mainu. Condolences to Sonia Gandhi ji on the passing away of her mother, Mrs. Puala Mainu. May her soul rest in peace. In this hour of grief, my thoughts are with the entire family, his post read. Mrs. Gandhi's mother died at home in Italy on Saturday. Her funeral took place on Sunday, the Congress has said. Sonia Gandhi, her son Rahul Gandhi and daughter Priyanka Gandhi Vadra are abroad and visited her hometown. The Congress chief had left on August 23rd to meet her ailing mother who was in her 90s. Portugal Health Minister Martha Temido resigned on Tuesday after widespread criticism of a decision to temporarily close emergency obstructed services and the death of an Indian pregnant woman during transfer between hospitals. Ms. Temido in a sentence said that she no longer has the conditions to exercise the position which the Prime Minister accepted. Portugal's national public broadcaster RTP News reported. A resignation was announced five hours after the news of the death of pregnant women in Lisbon. Pakistan Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif on Wednesday thanked his Indian counterpart Narendra Modi for his concern over the human and material losses caused by the devastating floods, saying his country will overcome the adverse effect of the natural calamity. Floods triggered by unprecedented monsoon rains have caused widespread havoc across Pakistan killing over 1,100 people and displacing 33 million or one-seventh of the country's population. I thank Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi for his condolences over the human and material loss caused by floods. With their characteristics of resilience, the people of Pakistan shall, inshallah, overcome the adverse effect of this natural calamity and rebuild their lives and communities, Mr. Sharif said in a tweet.